Okay, now let's have a, a real practice. Okay, let's go into the Python interpreter. And we know uh, we can define a variable like a is one. Uh, we can uh, do some calculation a plus one. We become the two, right? And we can assign back to a. Okay, so those are the quite normal, right? But what if you uh, access a variable you haven't defined? Okay, you will you will encounter uh, this kind of error, okay? I kind of clean up my uh, previous drawing. Uh, we call the name, it's not defined, okay? Name error, okay, which means uh, you try to access something haven't declared, haven't defined. But you may be wonder, uh, uh, do I need to declare the, the variable? In Python, no, it's not like a C programming language. You don't need to declare. Uh, when you kind of store, create that variable, uh, like a, a uh, you assign one to A. Actually, A is created. You defined it, okay? And then if you, uh, for example, if you assign uh, B as A, okay, if you do this, actually you define B, okay, so now you can print out B, you can evaluate, you can see the value, okay. So now let's uh, test, uh, let's write the function, okay, do you still remember how to write a function? Uh, function, uh, let's assume I define a C, okay, uh, we, we need to indent, right, C, uh, let's just suppose a C is 3, okay, and there's nothing here, I just want to uh, see if I can access, access C, yeah, you'll find it's uh, you've been told uh, C is not defined, okay? Why? Because this C is inside the definition part of the function, so it's a local, local variable, okay? Now you are in the out of kind of outside of the function, you cannot have access, you don't have the right to do it, okay? Okay, so uh, let's, that's the local variable and the global variable, okay? So uh, what if I said, uh, let me, let me try a, a test. Oh, not that. Mm, I need to, Let's assume we have a, another C, the global, okay? Let's assume that's a 100, okay? Okay, so uh, actually, if you print out C, you get a 100, and this C is not a local variable C inside the function, no, it's a 100, okay? So if we, uh, kind of redefine the function, I rewrite it, okay, I rewrite it, but this time I don't, I don't uh, kind of define the C, I kind of uh, print C, okay, I call that function, you can see I also get 100 as a, as a value, right? Why? Because now this C, uh, they will access this C, but this C not defined in this function, okay? 
in this local scope. No. So uh, the Python language will start to look outward. Okay. They will consider, oh, you try to access a C, but this C is not local, so I'm not going to try. I'm going to try to uh, find if are there any global. Yeah, the global one is 100, so you can print it out. Okay. Okay. So, what if I change, uh, for example, I change this C, C uh, plus equal 1 uh, means a C plus 1 uh, and the save back to the C. Okay. And then I call it again. Okay. So you can see that function can truly access to the global. So the uh, in uh, if there's no it the same name uh, as a C in the local, actually you are allowed from inside to access the global. Okay. Okay. Uh, but what is uh, sometimes uh, be problem problematic uh, when you write a coding is like this. Okay. For example. You want to write a function, okay? This is another example. Uh, you want to do this. C equals C plus one. Uh, you kind of print C. Okay, and then first I try to see the current C is 101. Okay, I call the function. Okay, you got you started to uh, be uh, confused, you feel so strange uh, because uh, you kind of generate a uh, arrow like this unbounded local arrow cannot access a local variable C. Okay. So what does this means? Okay. And when and where exactly this message uh, refers to? Uh, how do we explain this? Okay. Uh, the problem is like this. It, this C plus one. Uh, is trying to kind of confuse the the interpreter, and because uh, you kind of referring to uh, to someone, maybe global variable, but also you want to kind of define its own local. Okay, so they generate this problem. Okay, so but. Why? Why do we want to this kind of statement? Okay, the logic could be quite simple. You just want to insight, want to be inside. Uh, actually, you consider you want to update. You want to update the C, but this C is actually global. Okay. So what can we do? What can we uh, kind of? Uh, avoid this kind of problem. Okay, uh, there are several ways. Okay, one way is to uh, add uh, a, another command to tell the uh, Python, uh, please don't treat this C as a local variable. Okay, uh, if you do that, uh, they they will generate the error. So you need you can do this. Okay, actually, before you start to update, uh, you can add this instruction. Okay, let's try this first. Okay, so define function. Okay, C. Now I'm kind of use the global variable C. Uh, which is defined uh, in the global scope. 
spring C. Okay. So from the global scope, C is a 101. Uh, so I'm call it C now become 102. C now call it become 103. Okay. But uh, some people could consider this is not uh, the good habit because uh, if you uh, the, every time you let the, the, the function to have the ability to access the global, actually you may kind of uh, sometimes you update the, the information you shouldn't have, right? You shouldn't have. They may cause the problem, okay? Okay, so uh, so uh, another way is to actually you pass the information to to uh, to function. Uh, you declare the function. Uh, you give it a, a parameter. Okay, you send in some argument. Okay, and this argument uh, will allow you to. Uh, Get a copy of the original original C, okay. So uh, just let's assume you just don't want to update. You just want to uh, maybe this function. The purpose is just uh, increment by one. You just want to print it out. You don't want to actually update that, okay. So you can kind of. Uh, Print t plus one, or t equals t plus one. Okay, and you print t. Okay, and what happened? A print. Okay, I shouldn't have write t. Okay, that's a hmm? print. That's correct. What's wrong with my command? Oh, inconsistent use of tabs and space indentation. I need to keep to use the full space instead of the tab. Okay, so let's re rewrite the code. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. So now C is 104. Let's call function but now I'm passing my C currency into it and this function's job simply just just take uh, the input and I put to add by one uh, <laughs> there's uh, another argument wrong hmm Function, what happened? Oh, I made another stupid mistake. Uh, <laughs> the function name is not F A U N C, it's F U N C T. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Sometimes you just uh, don't get a clear head, <laughs> clear mind. Okay. So here's a bug, right? Uh, the function name is not uh, FUNC, it's FUNCT. Okay, this is one's correct. Mm, so the C here is 105, so uh, C, C is still unchanged. Okay, so if you see changes uh, uh, 200, okay. Uh, you get it an uh, input uh, to call a function that printed a plus one. Of course, nobody write this kind of function to by one. But you got an idea, you passing the parameters uh, argument to make a function to get a copy and to do something. Okay. So, uh, mm, so those are the different approach. Okay. And sometimes, uh, 
uh, we have a function, we want to get a value in return, okay? Uh, so in this case, if you want to kind of rewrite, rewrite the original C, of course you can, you can do that, okay? You, for example, uh, the, I rewrite the function, define, maybe uh, give the function name two times, okay? T, okay, then the T kind of multiply itself by two. And uh, just that, and the return t, okay, okay. So you can uh, c is two hundred. So I can I can d receive the two times c, and d is a four hundred. Okay, of course uh, you can override yourself. Yeah. You apply again, C A hundred. Okay, that's a that's a local variable, global variable. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I hope that uh, this recording uh, will help you understand the big difference between the global and the variable. Okay. And Make sure you use some of it in the right way, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.